In this video, I'll demonstrate how we can prepare a powdered sample for the SEM, or scanning electron microscope. Now to begin, we are working with powdered materials, so it's best to do all of the sample prep within a fume hood because nanoscale materials can be harmful to human health. For the rest of the video, I'm not working in a fume hood because I'm working with non-toxic materials, as an example. So to start, let's gather the supplies we'll need. A stub holder box is helpful to store our sample in. A little scoop, this one's metal, you could also use a wooden toothpick. Flat tweezers can be helpful. Stub tweezers, uh, an aluminum stub. We'll also need double-sided tape, either copper or carbon. So we'll put the aluminum stub in the stub holder box and then cut off and put down a piece of double-sided tape. I've already gone ahead and done that with um, copper tape in this example. Next, we're gonna use the scoop to take a small amount of powder and put it on the double-sided tape. Smaller is better in this case. Ideally, you could also work on multiple stubs at once, putting variable amounts of powder, some with more, some with less. That way you ensure that you have at least one sample that has a good distribution of material. So I put the powder on and then rub it, um, spread it out a bit on the stub. And the most important thing is after we do this, we need to use compressed air to blow off any excess material. You don't want this excess material to go into your SEM um, and ruin the vacuum. So make sure you do that. Also, because we're dealing with powder material that's usually not conductive, we do need to put a conductive coating on everything. Otherwise, when we're working on the SEM, we'll build up a charge. So use whatever carbon coater you have at your facility to put on a nice even coat on your materials. And ideally, when you're not actively using your sample, you do want to store it in an inert environment. So we have vacuum desiccators. You could also use um, a standard desiccator, a storage device that has nitrogen, for example, whatever works best. So that's how we prepare an SEM stub sample, and now you can try it yourself.